Hey guys, welcome to this week's Thorough Thursday, and today we're going to be going over the Hack New Wind Landmine Press. So let's get to it. So I apologize if this video sounds a little bit more echoey than usual because I'm doing this in the back room of our facility, and the microphone I attached to my camera has been malfunctioning recently, so I'm in the process of getting a new one. Now, let's get to the Hack New Wind Landmine Press. So, the reason I like doing this exercise is it's a good replacement for overhead pressing without actually overhead pressing. So when you look at the movement, you're pressing the bar up and away from your body, okay? So a big reason why this is really good for most people is we don't have the shoulder mobility, stability, or strength to be able to do the movement. Plus, if you look at uh, overhead pressing in most daily activities, it's up and away from you in the first place, like you're reaching something off a shelf, or putting something up there. So you might as well do a movement that kind of prepares you more for that instead of pressing straight overhead, causing a lot of shoulder issues. Now, the second reason I like this movement is, yes, you get a lot of shoulder and tricep activation out of it, but you also work the serratus anterior. So that's a muscle that's uh, located around your rib cage and helps stabilize the shoulder while in pressing movements up and away from the body. A third reason I like this exercise is, you'll notice if you do it in a half kneeling position and do it in the, have the weight in the opposite hand of the knee that is up, you're going to have a lot of core stabilization with this movement. So as you maintain a really tight and upright body torso position, you're going to press the weight away from you, forcing you to stabilize your core a lot more than usual. So I know some of you are thinking, is, well, what if I don't have a landmine in my gym? Well, I show you right here. So this is clearly in the corner of our glute ham race that I'm putting this in. But you can easily do that in the corner of any power rack or even just the corner of your room. Or in some cases, uh, when I go to some schools and whatnot that don't have a much force race, I even have them use a partner and they just put their, the bar in between the partner's feet. So, I hope you guys found this uh, edition of Thorough Thursday helpful, and I'll see you guys next week.